It's already started! Dr. Nefarious must be around here somewhere. You sure everything's okay, Clank? Maybe Al should take a look at your circuitry. How do you like my special creation, Clank? I call him... Clunk. Your dopey friend seems to be quite fond of him. Say, maybe they'll change your show to Secret Agent Clunk! <laughs> Did you hear that, Lawrence? You put the wit in twit, sir. Yes, I do. Don't I? <laughs> Today, you will witness the dawning of a new era. For years, I plotted in secret, suffering endless disappointments. But soon, it will all be worthwhile. You will never succeed. Ratchet will put an end to your madness. The only ending in Ratchet's future is the end of his own life. <laughs> and you will have a front row seat. <laughs> to unveil the true future of this galaxy. The future I have chosen! Oh, sorry. Did you say something, sir? The activation device! Now! Behold the final chapter of this galaxy's destiny. The Age of Robots! Oh, dear, that was your audition for Galactic Idol, wasn't it? My mistake, sir. Dreadfully sorry.
By all means, sir. Carry on. Clank, it's Dr. Nefarious, and that butler guy, and they've got Clank. They're, uh, holding you prisoner. How about that? 
<laughs> I guess I should be feeling pretty stupid right now. I don't suppose there's any chance he's the evil clank. <laughs> yeah, didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I've been laughing so hard today, my sides ache. I must admit, Ratchet, you've proven to be a far more worthy adversary than that imbecile Quark. Alas, I have a galaxy to conquer, so our game must end here. It's a shame you won't live long enough to see the rest of your kind exterminated. <laughs> well, you, you get the idea. I am sorry, Ratchet. This is all my fault. Knock it off, Clank. Nefarious did this, and he is gonna pay for it. For Metropolis and for what he did to Quark and Skid. You and I are gonna make sure of that. Come on, let's get off this planet before we end up dead. Or worse. believe it. That thing just turned the whole city into robots, even the Tyranoids. You've got to stop Nefarious before he can use it again. and placed explosive charges all over the city. You'll need the hover ship to reach them all in time. Some of the uh, other guys are getting a little nervous. Holy... 
he survived! I don't believe it! I mean, I mean, we, we never doubted you for a second, Sarge. Good work. A full time job, huh, Sarge? One of these days we'll pay you back, man. The Noids are holed up in four towers. You'll need a hover ship to get up there and flush them out.
ships requesting immediate air support! Sarge, me and the guys wanted to get you something to say thanks for saving our butts all over the galaxy. Everybody chipped in. We got you this map o -matic. Oh, you guys are the best. secret areas on your world map. The secret areas are marked as green. Just hours ago, bio-obliterators devastated Metropolis. The devices have since disappeared and their current location is unknown. Galactic citizens are in a state of hysteria, reacting to news that Dr. Nefarious is planning identical attacks across the galaxy. We're live from Planet Marcadia with the Galactic President. Mr. President, how will the attack on Metropolis affect your chances for re-election this fall? I'm glad you asked, Darla. Our demographic research indicates that robots will make up 100% of the galactic population by this time next week. And of course, that's great news for my re-election campaign because, as you know, I'm half robot myself. I don't believe this. 
Everyone's acting like Nefarious has already won. Maybe he has. If we don't find those bio-obliterators soon, we're all gonna be robots. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with that. Wait a second. Before the Star Cruiser blew up, didn't Quark say he was trying to find something? Yeah. It's a long shot, but I guess it's worth a try. The cruiser went down on planet Zeldrin. We'll go check out the crash site. Maybe we can find what Quark was looking for. Thank <laughs> you.